Hey, good morning. It's Friday, September the 18th. Tomorrow we have our worship service for you. If you'd like to watch, certainly would be welcome to. It is uh, going to be at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. We invite you to come and be part of that. If you have friends to come and invite them to be part, it'll be on Facebook if that works best for you at the Naples Seventh-day Adventist Church section. So please find that. We'd like to welcome you and be part of that. <clears throat> I'm continuing the discussion of um, Acts, and it's Acts 19 that we're looking at about riots. So please have an opportunity to come and join us. We'd be there at 11 a.m. Today, I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about there's a lot in the world about Bible ignorance. And I was just reading last night about how there's a great concern that not only about people who have ignorance because they're not being taught, the young people are not being taught anything about the Bible, that they're missing the great things about uh, in literature, in the great books of literature that refer to Bible referencing. And so they're missing part of the story like Noah or um, the uh, Jericho falling down and all those kind of things, those references that are made in great literature outside of the Bible are being missed and they're having to be explained, even the crucifixion of Christ. So it is amazing about how many people don't know anything about the Bible. For example, there was a, a lady that came to me one time and she knew nothing about the Bible. And she was uh, a registered nurse. She was a young lady, and she, but she had grown up where there was nothing in the Bible in her life. And she just didn't know why uh, Jesus was out hanging on a cross. She didn't know that, why that was so important. And she just knew the word Jesus as a swear word. And the word God as a swear word. She had nothing, nothing else to background. So it was starting from right, the very first part um, it's amazing what, what people do. Uh, Charles Swindoll, one time, he uh, mentioned to the people these words about the word Habakkuk. Now, Habakkuk is one of the minor prophets in the Old Testament, but he was just asking, what is the word Habakkuk to them? And so some people say, well, it's a word spelled backwards, or it's a Jewish holiday, he wrote, or a village in Vietnam, <laughs> or a new game, Habakkuk, or a disease of the lower, pardon me, a disease of the lower back. So it is, it is funny. Well, during the sermon, the old joke is that uh, the um, question was asked, well, um, what are the epistles? And the pastor was making a joke. He says, well, the epistles are the wives of the apostles. And uh, of course, then everybody kind of had a laugh. And the lady came up afterwards and she said, I'm sorry, I didn't get the joke. It was about a, uh, if the epistles are not the wives of the apostles, then whose wives are they? Well, epistles mean letters. They don't, they don't mean wives. And the ignorance of the Bible just goes on and on. Well, Jesus was complaining about the Pharisees who were real students of the scriptures, the Old Testament, but they missed the entire point of the whole Bible. And in John, John 5, verse 39, he was saying to them, and we've often heard people say, well, you should study the scriptures, search the scriptures uh, to do that. They missed the point of what this was talking about. In verse 39, it says, you search the scriptures or you study the scriptures diligently because you think that in them is eternal life. These are the very scriptures that testify about me, Jesus said. Yet you have refused to come to me for eternal life. Hmm. Not seeing the importance of the scriptures. Those of us who have been in knowing the Bible for a long time, we have such a valuable treasure in the stories of Jesus. I remember my parents teaching me as a small child all the stories in the Bible. And they were sharing with me these green, and they have become lifelong remembrances and friends, these people in the Bible. But so many in the world are not getting this, even in our nation, even in our educated young people. 
they're missing the Bible. It is important for us to share that. Would you mean that? Maybe you have an opportunity around for you to share and to help people and just a slight reference, you know, it could be, well, what's that about? It could be helpful to their eternal life. We want the Bible to be known and we want them to understand they can find Jesus in the Bible. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for your word. We thank you for the Bible. And there's a lot of ignorance in our world. Help us in sharing the story with Jesus, if we know it. And it's amazing, Lord, that the little we know can be shared because so many don't know anything. It's a tragedy. So Lord, bless us in the sharing of the truth of Bible, which is the truth of you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hope you join us this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow then at 11 a.m. God bless, have a great day.